वेलकम बैक टू शोकमर क्लासेस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच आई एम कवरिंग नाउ इज द टाइम मैनेजमेंट ड्यूरिंग एग्जामिनेशन फॉर अकाउंटेंसी स्टूडेंट्स फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्व दट इज सेकेंड पी यू सी स्टूडेंट्स वट इज दिस मोस्ट इंफॉर्मेशन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इयर ओवरऑल वी हैव टू राइट दी वी हैव टू अटेंड दी क्वेश्चन ऑन सेक्शन ए सेक्शन बी सेक्शन सी सेक्शन डी एंड सेक्शन ई मेनली विच आई एम सेंग इट इज रिलेटिंग टू कर्नाटका सिलेबस Yes, in section A, they need to attend the one more questions, eight questions they need to attend. Now you must know what is the time you have to spend it for the different sections. That one more questions you need to attend the eight questions. Maximum, maximum you spend the time ten minutes on this one more questions. Don't go for more than ten minutes. Try to finish less than ten minutes. It will be good. and and another important information is that after each and every question immediately you draw the uh, two parallel line for example you see for example question number 1 you write the answer within the 10 minutes time what you fix in the only draw two parallel line between the each and every answers yes the presentation of the paper will be very good next coming to section b two marks you need to attend the five questions So five twos are ten. Even here also, try to take more within ten minutes. For one question, two minutes. Five questions, ten minutes. Ten plus ten, it is twenty. In case if you minimize the time, it will be good. The reason why I'll tell you the minimization of the time will help you. It is into the section D. Coming to section C, it is a six marks question. You need to attend the four questions. So six marks question, four question means that. maximum if you take 10 minutes for one question also it will take the 40 minutes so 40 minutes means that already 10 minutes for section a 10 minutes for section b 40 minutes for section c this itself has covered the 60 minutes out of 180 minutes now you will come to know the reason why i am saying minimize the time in this right yes Next, you have one hundred and twenty minutes time with you. Out of one hundred and twenty minutes, maximum you should spend in section D twelve marks is in between twenty minutes to twenty five minutes. Twenty minutes to twenty five minutes for one question, you have to take that time. And the second most important is that if the problem is not tallied, don't spend the time with the working out of the same problem. Immediately you concentrate on the next problem. and even in the same manner third problem and the fourth problem because you have to attend the four problems so maximum you should spend out of 120 minutes so 25 minutes if you take an also 25 fours are it is 100 minutes for working out of the four problems and in section e practical oriented question at least 5 minutes time for one question also for two minutes it will take 10 minutes now if the problem is not tallied instead of spending the time with the same question when you concentrate on the second problem third problem fourth problem at last when you get the minimization of the time from the various other sections at last you should go for seeing the chances for what is the reason that problem is not tallied instead of that if you spend the time on only one problem for finding the reason for not tallying of the problem you will get shortage of time in the other problems which are going to do have this mind this concept in your mind and you work it out in simple i'll repeat once again section a within 10 minutes that is section a section b also within 10 minutes section c it is 40 minutes section d it is 100 minutes and section section e it is 10 minutes so overall how many minutes you get you see 10 20 60 160 170 60, at last in your hand you have 10 minutes you see that so with this 10 minutes is there any mistakes you have made all that you can check it over if you are very fast in doing some students can do this within 15 minutes also that will be very good at that time those who finish doing they can go for attending the choice questions also so every students can't take the same amount of time to do the problem it is based on their working out the skill if they practice more if they manage the time they can do the problem within 15 minutes and within 10 minutes also so that you have your mind concept is that let me not exceed more than this time on this particular problems like that you have a mindset wish you all the best and success for your second pc examination thank you very much